barbecue chicken grilled cheese sandwich. Let's get it, folks. So look, I want you guys to come in and take a look at these ingredients, right? So look, these are just two chicken breasts. Now, if you say barbecue, of course I'm gonna use mom. Hey, and plus, this is fire right here. Now, if you guys are interested in getting this, just down in the description box below, and I'll pin it to the number one comment. Listen, or you can use your, you know, your favorite or what you have on hand. But I promise you, this and this combination of everything I'm doing is gonna be fire. Now, for the rest of the ingredients, look, I'm gonna use a red onion, we got garlic cloves, smoked paprika, and we got that W sauce. Hey, somebody tell me down in the comment section below, who is that that you keep asking me what the W sauce is? You know what? You ain't been following me that long. Listen, W sauce is the worst, whatever it is, it's that sauce. Now, here we got Swiss cheese, we got more garlic, and then look, we gotta have some garlic. Now, let's just go ahead and talk about this bread. Now look, I love Rio bread. That right there is fire. I love the way it's brown. It does everything, it absorbs it, and the fact that it's a little bit sweet, right? This works. Sour. Hey, whatever you want to make your grilled cheese sandwich out of, you can do it that way. Hey, with that being said, let's get it. Look, I'm going to go ahead and take this right now, and I'm going to go ahead and start getting this prepped right now. I'm going to season my water. Sometimes I use chicken stock, even though I'm using, you know, chicken. You know what? I just didn't happen to have none, but I'm going to go ahead and use some water. And I'm going to dot it up like we know we can. So let me go ahead and get that straight. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go ahead and start prepping, you know, just my onions. Now, if you guys do everything like I did, which I suggest, you just measure everything you know, out here in these little bowls like that, that's what makes everything simple. Now let me just cut this down. See them rings right there? You get yourself a sharp knife and you just cut it down like this. And you just cut it some rings. See that right there? That's what you guys want to have. Because I don't want to get them real, real thick. You know what I mean? I like them a little bit on the thin. I like it a bunch of different textures. Okay, so look, let me show you guys something right here, right? This is my little pro tip for the day. So, we'll put these in here like this. Right? Instead of me using the fork, right? To go ahead and, you know, like to shred them up. Check it out. Get your mixer. Use the regular paddle like this. And look at that right there. So, take a look at that there. Which would you rather use? Mixer, or would you want to use two forks? Hands down, this shreds like super easy. Now we move over to the next one. You know you guys are saying right now, chicken, that's a cool little tip, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and get your pan. I'm gonna just add myself a little olive oil to this right here. We do our onions first, because we always give our onions a head start. After that, then we add our garlic. Super easy, folks. We just getting a head start. So now we just go ahead and add our onions. We starting to, you know, work these down a little bit. But this part's really up to you guys. You can do it however you want to do it. Just want to make sure it's all coated. And we just want to cook these down and soften these up a little bit. Okay, so you guys who look right here, you see right now, right? They working their way down, starting to get a little color, softening up, starting to look translucent. You know, they on their way anyway. Now, if you've been following me for a minute, you know this right here is something special to me. Don't ask me why, but I'm getting ready to press this, right? I love pressing garlic. There's something about this right here. When it comes out of there, that's just like so gratifying. And then when it comes out like this, let me know in the comment section below. We're gonna tell our age. How many of y'all had that play and had that little little machine right there that would make like that little spaghetti come out of there? We used to make hair. Hey, we ain't gonna keep talking about that though. So now we're just gonna go ahead and break, the, you know, let that garlic break down just for a hot second, right? I'm gonna turn this down because we don't wanna burn it. Now for the good part. Now we finna start making everything come together, right? So now I'll just go ahead and add, you know, the chicken. Right? Oh man, it smells incredible. Now we're gonna take our seasoning. Right? So now we'll just add our favorite barbecue sauce. Right? Can you see it coming together, folks? Say barbecue to you. I don't know what does. Alright, so look, when you got it all mixed up, you know what I mean? The heat from the pan, I done removed there. You know, I turned my fire off right now. But check this out right here. If you don't know what this is gonna look like when it's done, hey, just stay with me. But you should be able to smell it by even just looking at it. Look at that right there, folks. What I'm doing now is I'm just gonna go ahead and chop my parsley down. You know what I mean? Because look. 
look, this is gonna go on my butter too. All right, so I'm not gonna bore you guys. Let me just finish this. We're gonna melt some butter. And then we're gonna get this bread ready. And then we're gonna assemble. And we're gonna eat, folks. We're gonna go ahead and melt this butter down. As it's on its way down, now I'm gonna go ahead cheese lovers if you want to add more cheese you can right so now we're gonna take it here and now we're gonna add our chicken Ooh. I'm gonna lie to you folks that barbecue is right you know what I mean you can make this pool pork you know what I mean you can do whatever you would like but when you put that barbecue sauce on there and I'm not saying that I know this is a shameless plug but my barbecue sauce is fired up we're gonna add another slice right here on top. Then we're gonna put this on here just like that. I'm gonna put a little butter on this on the top over here. Don't forget we already did the bottom one. So now I'm gonna take it like this and we're just gonna add it here. Ah yeah. Now I'm gonna take it and we're just gonna flip it over. Just like that. Ah yeah, that's it. Now, if you wanna like, if you have a lid, you can put a lid on the top to help with the cheese, you know, melting. But this right here, I'm gonna cook it down, let the heat do it. That'll be just fine for me. For those of you guys that like that cheese running all over the side and all of that, just put a lid. Or if you don't have that, just put a piece of foil over the top. Let that heat just melt that cheese for you. I already looked at the bottom, I'll just show you that. And you can see it's up to you guys how you want to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and make multiple grilled cheese barbecue sandwiches right now. I just wanted to show you guys. Okay, so look, you didn't see the assembly. You know, of both, you can see right here we got that sourdough. That's the one I'm gonna take. But you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and start off and be selfish and give me a bite of this one right here. Hey, all I can say to you guys is uh, cheers. myself by getting myself you know my, my second bite over that this right here is fire now let me address something earlier when you saw me putting the you know the, the seasoning in there you know to make everything pop right listen you don't want to overpower it so if you were looking at you saying it's not a lot why put all of that in there if you don't put barbecue sauce on it too so my thinking is why do I over season it when I'm getting ready to in a sense drown it in a barbecue sauce right so why even put it in your body that right there is just a perfect amount to give it a little bit of flavor to go along with. Hey, let me plug this again. Listen, this is my barbecue sauce. Again, if you guys are interested, if you haven't had it, I promise you, I wish it belonged to somebody else, but I can tell you this, it truly is really, really good. If you guys are interested, it'll be down in the number one comment. 
I'll put it in the description box. It'll be everywhere. Now, you guys can use your, like I said earlier, you can use your whatever barbecue sauce you had, you know, whatever, you know, your favorite that's in your cupboard, use that. But if you want to try something different, maybe get hooked on something, this is it right here. Now, with that being said, I haven't hit the one on sourdough. I can tell you, this is how I normally eat mine. I really would just want to try, you know, doing it on a real Sourdough is my bread of choice whenever I do barbecue chicken, right? So check it out. If you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and I want you guys to tell everybody out there, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm about to eat them.